10 boards per game, so they lose Antonio McDice, but pick up Gugliotta to play the power forward. Right, and uh, he was one of the most sought after free agents in the market this year. Sean Kemp will go glass as Luke Longley flew at him. First field goal tonight for Sean. You got to be a little bit stronger with the ball to make sure you at least get a foul shot. Second assist for Jason Kidd, who, as we said, uh, just a tick under 12 assists per night. Sean Kemp will wheel inside. Well, he took Googly out of strong and opportunities. We got to limit those. Cedric Henderson. Nice look to Sean Kemp, who flushed it strong in traffic. Person went on the back iron. Revan Knight to start the Cavaliers away. And high hand to Sean Kemp, who pounded it down for Brevin Knight. Outstanding timing on the night. Look to flying short. Now George McLeod trying to go baseline. And Brevin Knight's going to get whistled for the personal foul. So the Cavaliers are starting to fly around the rim now, getting things in transition. Well, they're opening up the game a little bit. Brevin recognizes it. Nice little shovel pass to Sean, and Sean is high above the rim. Nice uh, dunk shot. And George McLeod in his uh, take a look season. at it from the other end. Sean knows how to finish. Yeah, McLeod in his eighth year out of Florida State. Austin, you and I were talking before the game about how this ball club has just so many offensive weapons. Yes, they do. And the problem is they don't have enough guys who wanted to concentrate on the defensive end. Cavaliers lead it by a deuce. Sean Kemp is going off. Now he's looking to back Gugliotta down. Now Sean Kemp putting on a show here as he wheeled to the front of the rim. Dean left in this first quarter play. Good to have you along tonight out of uh, America West Arena. Kemp wants it down inside. Why not? Look at Sean making himself big and strong and just hurting people down around the rack. <laughs> His last two wide open jumpers. Inside 60 seconds now. Shot clock comes inside 10. Well, Sean Kemp was just brilliant in the first quarter with 14 points. Now Sean wants it against Luke Longley. A rainbow oh, jumper is going to rattle and go. Shoot it, Sean. <laughs> so the Cavaliers bump the lead up to nine. It's their largest of the night. Danny Manning ran off the curl, got to the dotted line. Sean Kemp to pull off the Manning misfire. There they go. They miss, they, really, they miss this style of game, too. He fits in perfect with this type of offense. Terrific look from Sean Kemp to a flashing Brevin Knight who got the roll. He's made an adjustment shooting-wise. That one went straight in. And well, four times this year, he's uh, been over the 20-point, 10-rebound barrier in the same game. Seven double-doubles, so he's fit in very nicely here. So he's a 20 and 10, man. Sweet move by Sean Kemp that'll drop. Sean in isolation. He just crossed over. On Sean Kemp wants it. Trying to power up on Cliff Robinson. Left it on the side of that glass. Look at Kemp with a man size effort. Sean didn't finish, but he is going to get to the free throw line. The Rain Man with a purpose tonight out here in the Valley of the Sun. You talk about effort. You can tell who wants to win this basketball game tonight. Sean is going after the ball here, not once, but twice. And then he goes back up the third time. Goes to the line for two. I think he's going to have to get his band aid. Uh, repaired here Utah Jazz well it means a lot because now they get a chance to salvage the road trip because now they get a couple of days off and they can be able to practice and here's the big fella he's finally here opportunity to sit down and spend a few minutes with Sean oh absolutely and all uh, such strong things like this are much worth waiting for Sean Kemp absolutely extraordinary performance tonight uh, did you get a sense in the first half you had 16 points you hit 80 your first nine field goal attempt did you get a sense that you could do something in post-up situations against either Gugliata or Longley whoever worked on you because you worked them both over very well yeah, I think so I think uh, what I try to do last tonight is basically go to the inside first Last night, I think I made the mistake by coming out shooting jump shots early, and I think it hurt me a little bit. I didn't get my rhythm right, and I struggled in the first half. So tonight, I said, hey, let's go to the rim first, and then let's build our way out, and I think it worked well for us. You know, Sean, before the game, we talked a little bit about you, 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 about last night's game, and you, you said that you felt that this tonight you need to redeem yourself. It looks like to me, when you, your focus was there, you wanted to make sure that they understood Hey, we don't accept what happened to us last night, and you came out with that intensity. Exactly. Like I said, I didn't have a very good ball game last night, but I thought we had a chance to win the game. And, right. uh, I thought we did some good things last night, but still late in the game, we turned the ball over and we lost. But tonight, you know, was a challenge to us. We could either mm -hmm. come here 
and basically fold over and say we were tired or we could come here and challenge ourselves to uh, get out to a good start and, uh, and have a good game tonight. We did. Good. You know, Sean, last week, obviously, uh, you came out after the very discouraging loss of the Detroit Pistons. And this isn't to drag this up, but I want to make a point about this because you're, this is the first time, and Austin and I talked about this in a long time, that the leader of a Cavalier ball club came out, made a statement about everybody must play better basketball and get more in tune. But what I liked about it, you took responsibility and accountability and then came out and showed by your lead in that win on Saturday night. And, you know, I mean, that's something that was that a little bit something you thought, hey, maybe by design these young kids will get the exactly know what I'm talking about and uh, follow my lead? Well, I think so. I think uh, what happens is uh, you put a little pressure on some of the younger guys and they come out and they, uh, they're a little more focused. But then also when I do that, I have to come out and I have to be just as focused as they have to be out there in the court and even play better. So. You know, it comes hand in hand. It's a, it's a chancy situation, but I took it. I thought we needed that boost to uh, get ourselves going a little bit because I thought we were feeling down on ourselves. You have a couple injuries with the Drunas, and then Wesley gets hurt, and Brevin gets hurt, and you kind of see guys' heads start to drop down a little bit. And uh, in this short season, we really don't have much time to make up games, so we basically have to play now if we're going to try to contend with some of these top teams. Mm -hmm. well, well, Sean, again, I just want to say on that on that particular point, that uh, you know, I just wanted to say, hey, that was a, that was a great thing you did. I think the team needed it, and I, it it just made me feel. I I feel like I wanted to play after right. you said it. <laughs> yeah, I, and I think the guys appreciate it. I think uh, that first day it might be a little hard because the press comes to you and they're on you. They're saying this guy's saying this, but it also meant me. You know, when I say that, it, it, that doesn't mean Sean Kemp can relax. It means that uh, Sean Kemp has to also come out and play just as well or better than the rest of the fellows. I think you did that, obviously, and uh, you're the ball club's uh, leader and the guy that uh, does take responsibility for what happens on the floor. Outstanding effort tonight, and uh, it's one the ball club needed, no question about it. Now you're back even on the road trip going into Houston. Yeah, because, you know, now we get this win here, and it, it gives you a, a sense of joy for a day where you can relax. That way you're not pressured tomorrow because we got some tough games coming up. The, the Houston game is going to be a tough game for us because they got a lot of athletes also. And even Chicago, I believe it's going to be tough in Chicago. They're playing better. It seems like they're moving the ball better, getting some more wins, and uh, – we got our work cut out for us yet. Yeah, no question. Enjoy the rest of a couple of days off. That's, that's yeah, always it's nice. not bad in the get, sun. Yeah, get it done on the practice floor. <laughs> appreciate you coming out and always appreciate right. watching your effort, too. Sean Kemp, outstanding performance tonight with the, the 18 points tonight leading the Cavaliers. Now, next time we get together with you right here on the Cavs Television Network, it'll be March 23rd, and we'll see you at 7.30 when the uh, Cavaliers uh, get Rick Pitino and his Boston Celtics in the gun. And Pitino was having fun with the crowd courtside of the gun about 10 days ago. Now, the Cavaliers will see Pitino. Tino and the Celtics then. Cavaliers get a great effort tonight from Sean Kemp and Seth Henderson. Cavaliers beat the Phoenix Suns to get to 8-9 and nine on the year and 1-1 one one on the trip, 86-73. That's going to do it for us tonight out of America West. As Sean goes to work, we tell you our producer for this one tonight was David Dombrowski. We were directed by Patrick Murray and Bob Price uh, handled the statistical work courtside. For Austin Carr, happy birthday, AC. I'm Michael Regai. Thank you for your Cavalier basketball company. Until next time, so long from Phoenix, everybody.